Hey, this is Alex. Wow, what a day. And what a way it started as well. I mean, well, as it typically normally does with MS, you need the loo. It happens a lot. So, uh, so yeah, just got up out of bed. Then I realised just how quickly I hopped out of bed. I think normally with less, less mobility, you just sort of take a bit of a laboured swivel and lift and get yourself up. But this morning I just threw off the covers and hopped up. For a moment I didn't, didn't even think anything of it. Then it just occurred to me, what just happened then? I had to sort of almost sort of go back and retrace my steps and put myself back into bed again, covered myself up, threw off the covers, hopped up again. Suddenly I then realised that actually my brain and my legs are actually talking to each other, which I guess they haven't done for a, well, a long time. I sat myself back and down in bed and I didn't even think about it. My knees just lifted, took them over the side of the beds and I just hopped up totally unlabored. I know it sounds silly, it's, it's a little thing. Actually, just suddenly when your brain and your legs just start working in unison, when they haven't done for such a long time, ah, oh, felt pretty great. And then of course I remembered that actually I did need to go to the loo. So I came back from the toilet and I thought, okay, well, what else can I do? Sort of uh, in front of the, uh, the long mirror in front of me, I sort of I squatted down, went back up again. It looked all right, it was controlled, it was steady, it was smooth. No wobbles. It was almost a little bit reminiscent of how it was before. Not getting too excited, but it was looking good. And it was nice sort of feeling that actually there's still a little, even though a lot of muscle is gone, that there's still a little bit of power there just to sort of lift myself up and down. And I wonder, well, how much power is there left in my legs? So I sort of did a couple more sort of squats, sort of up and down, looking good. Went down once more, jumped up. Amazing. I can't believe I jumped up. I, it was only a couple of inches. But best of all, I didn't stagger, I didn't wobble, I didn't shake at all. It was a good straight jump. And I just felt amazing. And this is all because just suddenly my brain is just now talking to my legs. Whereas previously it was just all guesswork, no, no coherence. It's amazing, just with a, a little bit of communication from between my feet and my brain, so much effort has been taken away. And they're just doing stuff without me having to actually think about it. Like I say, just hop out of bed. Your knees just lift and you hop up. So naturally, with all that in mind, it was like, well, okay, what else can I do? Knowing that I'd just been given the green light to go outside as well. I mean, I hate walking. Really detest walking. It's laboured. It's unsteady. It's uncomfortable. Just, for me, there's just nothing to enjoy about it at all. Sadly for me, it was little more than a means of just getting from one place to another. But yeah, this morning, for the first time in years, I actually wanted to go for a walk. All these new sensations I've been sort of feeling, like say, sort of, I can now feel the floor pressure underneath my feet. I can actually feel the calf, calf muscles in my legs actually sort of pushing and pulling. Well, a little bit more power in my thighs now as well. Uh, it's just nice that all the guesswork appears to be taken away. So, this walk. Right, so this is me, I'm going down for a walk. I'm in the lift, looking a bit sinister, but it's all right. It's me, Alex. The walk felt amazing. It really did. Nice. So, I've put the cap on basically because, because my hair's gonna be falling out. Don't really want it blown away. Okay, set the app, let's go. So we went outside, good breath of fresh air. Not had that for a while, sort of cooped up in this room for the best part of nearly four weeks. Wow, that immediately feels different. I can actually feel the calves in my legs working. They're pushing and pulling. My thighs are helping them. I think uh, previously, I was just guessing before, it's like walking on footballs. But uh, I think the big difference is that I'm not looking down at my feet. This is actually really nice. I'm actually walking, I'm looking up. Forever walking, all I'd be doing is just looking at my feet. Just making sure that they're planted firmly or I'm basically going to fall over. But actually now, because in my head, I actually feel 
where my legs are, where my thighs are, where my calves are, when my feet go down. I'm just looking forwards. For a long time, I've had to actually think about left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Yeah, it, it just hasn't been natural for me at all. So yeah, I don't feel like I'm moving massively quicker than I was before, but certainly more confident. Speed will come. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I've even explained why I'm wearing the mask yet. So even though I've got a brand new immune system and it's uh, fully there, unfortunately it's not actually fully functional if you like. It's been reset to factory settings, so I guess it still doesn't know the bugs yet. So, so just for the moment, still got to wear the mask. Now, interestingly, I've hit a park bench. Now, normally I would say, oh, Jed, come on, I need to sit down. But actually, you know what? My legs, they feel different. I think, whereas previously, when you got no knowledge of what your legs are feeling, other than just feeling tired, you just, you just want to collapse. But now with the added sensations, the feelings in my muscles, yeah, I'm feeling that, that they could be tiring a little bit, but actually more so, I'm feeling a level of tiredness. I don't need to sit down. They're tiring a little bit, but crack on, let's go. So there it is, pretty much the, uh, the mecca of HSCT, the AA Maximov Hospital. It's not a bad looking building. Apparently 30% of uh, the world's HSCT patients have been done here. That's not bad, eh? There's a little church around the corner, a little chapel, all, right, then. all wood made. It was very appar apparently very pretty, yeah. so I thought, well, let's go have a look at it. It's quite pretty. Casually sort of walked over. Starting still, still starting to feel a little bit tired. I suppose, also, I guess, I have just been sitting on my ass for six days as well, sort of. So this is the first actual real exercise my legs have had in probably quite a while. Well, a long time actually, but certainly in this case, they'd done nothing. But they were still going and that was nice. So I took like a little walk around the church, it's not very big. And again, I'm just looking up. I'm actually just in, enjoying what's around me, the, the trees, the bright sky, the pretty church, and just not looking down at the floor. So the church is reasonably close to where I started. So I thought, okay, well, let's, let's start going back. So that, like I say, just starting to tire a little bit. Don't want to overdo it. It's my first day out. So yeah, that's me done now. Actually, I quite enjoyed that. Stretching the legs, actually feeling my muscles. Uh, the app says that I've done 0.88 kilometers. So what's that, 880 meters? That'll do. So I got back to my room, sat on the bed, sort of uh, have a bit of a rest. But actually I quickly realized I didn't collapse. I didn't just fall onto the bed in just sheer exhaustion as I would normally would. I just sat on the bed and actually my legs were telling me, come on, actually, shall we carry on? Obviously got to limit myself, but actually it was nice just coming home and like I say, not collapsing and still feeling like I've got some energy. So after a few seconds, it's like, well, I'm thirsty now. So I just easily got up, there was no sort of creaking in the legs, no sort of aching. Fixed myself a glass of Coke and just sat myself back down again. But normally I'd feel like start getting a massive build of lactic acid in my legs and they just start hurting. But no, they were comfortable, they were warm. And like I said, they were probably still good to go. And it was so nice to then pick up my phone to Jen and just sort of tell her about what I'd just done. How I did it, looking forward, no guesswork in the fees and actually enjoying it. And I was very proud to tell her that I didn't take a break halfway through either. So, 880 metres to start with. I don't think I'll start pushing myself just yet, but it's a good place to start. So, I'm looking forward to building up the muscle, and who knows, watch this space.